Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with another drawing of the day. Today I am doing, I know it's not, it's like past Valentine's Day and I usually do this one for Valentine's Day. It's called my Valentine's Day Pup, um, but I just think it's super cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do it even though it's like April. All right, so to start my fluffy puppy, I'm working with Sharpie. You guys should probably start with pencil and eraser just in case you make mistakes. But to start my fluffy puppy, I'm gonna go ahead and put like, just like it's like a little potato, like just an oval. And this is actually gonna be the puppy's nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and color it in mostly black, but a lot of times I'll leave like a little shiny spot on my puppy noses. So after you have this part, we're gonna do a little line hanging down like that. And then this is a really fluffy puppy. So we need to go like this. I know it's kind of silly. This is gonna be the snout. So I love doing fluffy things. So fluffy puppies. All right, look at this, super fluffy. Look at that. Okay, so super fluffy puppy. After you have the snout done, we're gonna go ahead and put the eyes above here. So my puppy dog eyes, I like to do them really big ovals like this, and I always like to put my little sparkles in there. Okay, so I've got one, two sparkles in each of my eyes. And if you guys wanna put eyelashes or eyebrows on there, you can. All right, so now that we have like the nose and really the mouth is like tucked under here. So we've got the nose and the mouth, the snout, we've got the eyes, we need a head. So again, fluffy puppy guys. So we need to make sure that we are like super fluffy, the fluffier the better on this one. So just lots of little shaggy lines like that, super cute. And then after you have the head on there, we're gonna put some big fluffy ears on top. So the way I do my fluffy triangle ears are like this, I just go, it almost looks like fire, right? It's like these like little jagged lines. There we go. And then you gotta get those pinky middles on there. So I always put the little pinky middles in my ear. There we go. And then in my example, I'll bring this back. I had something in my puppy's mouth. I had a heart. So if you guys want your puppy to be like holding something in its mouth, it would be like, like down here, right? So like this is the mouth under here, but if you're not gonna do anything, you could just do like a little fluffy chin if you want, like that. So now there's nothing in his mouth, but if you wanted to, you could always put something hanging out of his mouth. All right, so right now we have the fluffy puppy's head done. So we're gonna move on to the body. So the first thing I do with my fluffy puppy's body is I actually do the front paws. So to do that, I have to do kind of like a fluffy, line going down and a fluffy line going down like this. And then I'm gonna put a big curve and a big curve. And I'm gonna turn these curves into paws. So to do that, I go swoop, swoop, swoop. And this one, swoop, swoop, swoop. Now, so you can tell this is like the edge of the body, like the edge of the front paws, but we need the inner lines for the paws. So I just kind of go like this, and these are kind of like close to each other, like that. And that just gives a hint at those front legs. So after we have these front legs done, we need to get our back legs on. So our puppy's sitting down, and I have his paws out in my example, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So to do my back paws, I'm gonna go swoop around like this and swoop around like that. So two just curves like this. And then I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go bump, bump, bump for the tops of the feet. Bump, 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 like that. And then I put little puppy paw prints in there. One, two, three toes, so a big circle. And one, two, three toes. And then I got to get the knees on there. So the knees are just gonna go like this. They're gonna go from the body and connect to the paws. So I'm gonna start about here, fluffy, 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 connect to the paws. And then the last thing we have to add for our fluffy puppy is the fluffy tail. You're just gonna see a little peak of it peeking out from behind the puppy. 
So there you have it. We've got our cute little fluffy puppy. And you guys do not have to color the way I did. Um, I did mine gray, but really your puppy could be any colors that you want. Maybe I'll make mine blue today. So with this painting or drawing, whatever you are working with today, I'm working with colored pencil. Um, one thing I would recommend is changing your color, whatever color you're using, a little bit um, because with all this fluff, you don't want like all of this to be colored exactly the same way. So I'm gonna show you what I mean really quick. So these front paws, these front legs are out in front of the rest of the body. So I'm gonna show you, hold on real quick. I'm kind of painting these or coloring these front legs like really lightly. So it's like a lighter shade of blue like this. And then when I get down in here where they're coming together, I'm gonna to color it a little bit darker shade like this so that it gives it a little more of like a 3D effect. So you can tell like this is outside and this is like kind of shadowy, like down in there on the dog's chest. Same thing with the back paws. So because the outer side here is light, I like this part here to be a little bit darker. And this is especially like, I especially notice this when I'm painting. I like to change my color a little bit. If I'm using two surfaces coming together of the same color, I like to, where they meet, I like one side to be a little bit darker and a little bit lighter. So it looks a little th more three dimensional. So as you see, I'm kind of like fading out this color. It's dark here, but it's getting a little lighter here. Same thing on this side. So this side would be dark where it's touching those front paws. And then as we go this way, it could get a little lighter. And you can kind of do the same thing actually when you get up to the head. So a lot of times on, when I do these fluffy dogs, I leave the snout white. So I don't usually color this, but where the head, and here, I'm gonna show you. So where the head and the body meet, so here, if the head is like this light blue, then where they touch, I put a little shadow there too. So it'll be a little darker on this side. So under here, under all this fluff, it'll be a little bit darker. Then you can tell where the head ends and the body begins because there's like a little shadow here. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and finish this however you want. Thank you again for joining me for the drawing of the day and we will have another one posted tomorrow at 1 p.m. Hope to paint with you soon.